Okay, we'll be here when you're ready, you can open your eyes. All right, and Okay, so Kathy's is going to lead us through some stretching and I'll continue with the conditioning. So, okay, so let's start with ready? jumping jacks. Nine, two, Okay, let's move on from here. Okay, so we're gonna do some conditioning today and we're also do some balancing drills, okay? So first to warm up for conditioning, let's start with a little bit of hopping up and down. Here's the balance. Okay, from here, let's start with knees up. We're gonna do double knee tuck like this. Some punch jumps, okay? We're gonna do 10 by my count. Ready, nine, two, three, seven, nine, that's up, that's up. Go, go, good. 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 
The next one we're going to do is called a split jump. So instead of bringing both your knees up, you're going to bring one knee up, you're going to bring the other leg back and kick it back like this. So think of it like you're separating your knees. So first time, right knee up. Second time, left knee up. So we're going to do 10 like that. So you're going to switch between one and two. Okay? So for this one, I'm going to get Kathy to count. Ready to start from bouncing. Three, two, three. Good. Consistency with that speed. Okay. Catch your breath again. Next one we're going to do. Toe touch. Sorry, toe, yeah, toe touch in front of you. So this time you jump up and touch your toes in front of you. Everyone bouncing up and down. Ready, jump. Now, do it. Set. Then, let's go. Let's go. You go. You go. Hold. Good. Good. Shake out your legs. Okay, from here, let's do a little bit more dynamic stretching. We're going to start with lunges today. Okay, so for this one, you're going to add some balance into it. You're going to put your hands in your waist. When I say one, you can do a front kick for me. Number two, you're going to land into a lunge position. And then you're gonna step back on three. Okay? So three steps. Let's try this out. Ready? So start with your right leg first, face time to your left leg. We'll do a set of ten. Ready? One, ha! two, three, one. I said one. One. Two. Three. That's the challenge. Ready? One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last two. One, two, three. Okay, from here, let's do this one next. Okay, we're gonna do side to side hamstring stretches. Right, but this time we're not gonna use our hands. So what it's gonna look like is this. You're gonna have your legs wide apart. You're gonna lift up your toes on one side and you're gonna sit on the other side. And when you come up, you're gonna switch. Okay, so this one goes as low as you can handle. This is both a stretch and an exercise. Strengthen your single leg, okay? So let's do, let's start with 10 first. This time, can you can count when you're ready? Ah. Oh. Doesn't matter. Okay, sure. yeah. Okay, good. From here today, like I said, we're going to practice our balance. So we're going to do a set of front kicks, standing on one leg, but we're not going to put our leg down until we're done. So it's going to look like this. Every time I count, you're going to go one, two, three. Right, until we reach 10 for each leg. So start for fine session B. Ha! Ready, so lift up your left leg and right leg. Right leg for us, left for them. Okay, ready? And let's go. Na. Third. Set. Ne. Kasa. Yasa. Here go. Ha. Ha. Aho. Ha. Good. Put it down. Switch your legs. Ha. Okay, ready? Another leg up. And now, two, set, net, that's up, that's up, you go, you there, a hole, you, good, put your leg down, check out your legs, take your breath, okay, next exercise we're going to do is from front kick position, we're going to lift up our leg, up and down. So you're gonna extend your leg in front kick position, you're gonna go up and down. So you don't wanna to swing too wide. You wanna keep it near the highest point of your kick. So let's say if I can kick, right, and hold it around here, I'm gonna lift up and down, around that height between my strength. I'm going to lift up my leg. So we're gonna do up and down. Every time you go up and down is one. So I'll count, you can go one, two, three. You're gonna do a set of 10 on each leg. Okay, so let's start. Ready? Nice and me. Ha! Ha! 
Ready. Yep, and ready, Frank. Out, oh, and let's go. Now, two, set, next, that's up, that's up. There you go. You do it. I hope you open your knee and put it down. Ready. Other leg. Up, up, and kick out. Ready, go. Now, two, set, next, that's up, that's up. You go. You do it. I hope you are ready with your leg. Let's just massage your legs. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to hold out our turning kicks, okay? But we're going to do it like this so that we can kick higher. So, when you go into turning kick position, bring your knee up, you turn to the side. Now, when you extend your leg, I want you to do two things. Number one, I want you to lean back. Number two, I want you to raise your knee and your foot as high as you can before you kick. So it's going to look like this. One, and come back down. Two. Okay, so whenever you're kicking high, you want to do two actions. Move your shoulders back. Number two, raise your knee and your foot as you kick. Okay, so we're going to practice doing that while balancing on one leg. Okay, so let's give that a try. Right, session B. Uh, Ready? Knee up, turn to turning position. Ready? Bar my count. Lean back and kick. And up. Uh, Third. Uh, Set. Uh, Net. That's uh, up. This up. You go. You do. I hope. Good. Good job, your leg. You guys, make sure you're working on your balance at home, right? Try not to fall. If you're jumping around too much, you're not controlling your balance. Okay? Let's start. Other leg up and turn. Turn into position. Ready. Remember, shoulders back, foot up, and let's go. Now. Third. Set. 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 Make sure your legs are ready for that. Are your legs ready, Kathy? As ready as it'll ever be. All right then. Fine right, session me. Okay, ready? Bring your leg up to side kick position. Go up and turn. Ready? As you kick out, lean back and raise your foot. Ready? Now. Third. Set. Net. Pass up. Yes, up. Here you go. Ah. Oh. Ah. Good. Ooh. Yeah, so I understand it's not, you can't do it perfectly. If you put your leg down, that's okay. Yeah, but do your best to keep it up for as long as you can, okay? The longer you can keep your leg up in the air for, the better your balance is going to be. Let's try the other leg. Left leg behind. Ah. Ready? Lift it up and turn. Ready? Now. Third. Set. Net. Pass up. Yes, up. Here you go. Third. Hold. Good. 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 Drop your leg. Okay. So now that we work on our kicking leg, we're going to work on our standing leg. So what I mean is the leg that you're standing on, you have to work on your balance and your strength for that. To do that, we're gonna lift up our heel and hold it off the ground like this. And then put it down when I say down. So you're gonna hold it up for as long as you can. When I say up, when I say down, you go back down. Okay, so you don't just wanna bounce. If I see this, that's wrong. I want you to try to hold up. So hold your heel off the ground. Then when I say down, you put it back down. You can try not to hop. Okay, so this one, we're gonna do sets of 10. I'm gonna sit up and down, Kathy, you can help me keep track. Every time we go down, you can go. Okay, ready? Everyone, lift up one leg, and hands on your belt. So don't use your hands to balance, okay? Use your core muscles. Ready, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Yes, up. Up, 
down. Here you go. Up. Down. Other. Up. Down. Bravo. Up. Down. Here. You're going to shake out your legs. We're going to do the same thing with the other side, and then we're going to move on to more stretching. Okay, ready? Let it go. And let's go up. Down. Huh. Up. Down. Good. Up. Down. Set. Up. Down. Left. Up. Down. That's up. Up. Down. That's up. Up. Down. There you go. Up. Down. Better. Up. Down. Up. Up. Down. Yeah. Gotta shake out your legs. Okay, today because we're gonna focus on Pumse, we're not gonna do as much conditioning, but we're gonna move on here and do some stretching after this. Mr. Sir. And then get a quick water break, guys, and we're gonna come back and stretch. We're gonna work on a little bit more stretching today. Okay, so for we the stretching we're gonna do, we're gonna start from let's start from a standing position. Okay, so let's start with normal, right? We're gonna go with standing splits, so legs apart. Go as wide as you can. Make sure you keep your knees straight with your hands on the ground. And we've all done this in class before. Okay, we'll do this one. We'll do just two sets first. Okay, one set for me, one set for Kathy. Hana. Third. Set. Net. Press it. Yes, sir. Here we go. Get there. I hope you, if you can, try to go lower. No. Good. Set, net, dance up, dance up, your feet slightly closer together. Okay, so now this time, okay, I want you to turn your leg to the side, keep your back legs out. So it's the groin stretch position from before, but now you're going to straighten your leg and lift up your toes, and you're going to move your back leg back and bring your hands forward towards your upper leg. Okay, so you want to keep your hips in between your legs. So from this view, I'll show you the front view. Okay, so you want to have your legs in a straight line. You want your hips to be in between your legs. Your hands on either side. Okay, let's do two sets of this one. Now, third set. Net. Pass up. Yes, sir. Here we go. Your other. I hope. From here is off slowly, and you're going to switch your legs. Okay, so ready to put your other toe in front of you, up, back leg sideways, straighten both of your knees. And then slide your back leg, your sideways leg backwards. Hands down in front of you, in front of your toes up leg. Carry, let's do two sets. Come on. Third. Set. Net. Pass up. Yes, sir. Here we go. You're there. Aho. you No. Good. Set, net, that's up, that's up, elbow, yoder, elbow, yoder. Okay, knees off slowly. Okay, so the next one we're going to do today is we're going to do the other kind of front split stretch. So instead of having your legs sideways, this time you're going to have your knee facing downwards. So you're going to start from this position here. You're going to make a 90 degree angle with your feet. Okay, so from this position, right, we're going to first start with stretching out our hip flexor. So I want you to straighten your front leg. Okay, you're going to bend your knee and push your hips forward like this. And bring your hips down towards the ground. And now, third, set, net, pass up, this up, here go. Good there, I'll hold you. Straighten your knee. Now lean forward, bring your head towards the ground. Okay. Now, good, set. Next, that's up, that's up, here we go, the other, 
Yeah. Okay, now we're going to combine those two things. You're going to keep your legs straight and move your hips forward so that you're stretching both your front and your back leg. Ready, Hana? Two, seven. Yeah. That's it. Yes, sir. Here we go. Sit down. Aho. You will hold. And tap, tap. Hana. Two, seven. Here we go. Another. Aho. Yeah. Okay, let's switch sides. Oh, yeah. Okay, so once again, make that 90 degree angle. Make sure your hips are facing forward. Okay, so don't have your hips opening up. Ready? Straighten your front leg out. And bend your knees. Hips forward. So straighten it for space. And then push your hips forward by bending your knee. Oh, there you go. See, it makes sense, right? Okay, ready? Good. Push those hips forward. Use your hands if you have to do enough. Third, set, net, pass up, press up, here go. Good down, aho, yield from here, straighten your leg and lean forward. Na, dur, set, net, pass up, press up, here go, other, aho, yeah. And here, push your front leg further ahead and push your hips down at the same time. Na. Two, set, net, pass up, pass up, here go, good day, aho, good. Na, two, set, net, pass up, pass up, here go, good day, aho, yeah. Okay, let's stand up and we're going to move on into some boom stages. First, let's start with the rotations, one way. Then other way. Okay, so for today, we're going to focus on our Kumse basics. First thing we're going to go through today is some basic stances. Okay, so what we're going to do, first one, we're going to go through how to do proper walking stance. So those of you who have done this, okay, all of you have done this for a while, but I've said this a couple of times, what do we need from a walking stance? We need a few things. Number one, I need one foot of space between my feet. Number two, I need one foot of space between my heel and my toe. So I need that both sideways and forwards. So both this way and this way between my legs, I have one fist of space. Did I say one foot or one fist? Yes, said one foot. I meant one fist. You need one fist of space between your heel and your toe. Okay, lastly, the angle of your back leg is important because if both your legs are straight, you don't have as good of a balance. It's like you're standing on a tight rope. You're gonna fall over sideways. Right, so your back leg, you have to turn it slightly, okay? So just a little bit off the center, but not all the way to the side. If you have this much of a turn, this is called an L stance. Okay, so it's a little bit off center, right? If you need to think of an angle, it's 30 degrees. But just remember, off center a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice two things. We're gonna practice controlling our steps. So number one, when we step forward, we don't wanna take too big of a step. Okay, every time you step forward, just step forward, and focus on taking a small enough step to have that one fist distance between your heel and your toe. You can look down at your foot if you have to. Just try it a couple of times, just walk forward, and then try walking back also. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna practice is something called the pivot. Because if you recall, when I, what I told you was your back leg is supposed to be at a 30 degree angle. So what you're gonna to try to do when you step forward is, you're gonna turn your back leg slightly, like this. So the moment you put your leg down, I want you to pivot it slightly. Okay, how you do that is by moving your heel over, okay? So as I step forward, my heel goes like this. Heel forward. Heel slightly turn, okay? So, let's practice this a few times. So follow along with us. We're gonna do a set of just Okay. So start a little bit further away from, from your TV or your camera, right? So start with a proper walking stance first. Actually, no, you're going to start from your knee. Let's just drop a check. And then, okay, from say your knee, your feet should be shoulder width apart from here. Now hands on your waist. Look down, ready to step forward. And when you put your leg down, try to turn that back leg slightly. Okay, we're going to separate into this. You're going to step, and then when you put your leg down, turn. Step, turn. Step, turn, step, turn, step, turn, 
stuff. Turn. Okay. Now we're going to take that same idea and we're going to make sure we're doing it properly when we turn from side to side. Okay, so one of the biggest things I see problems with is when people turn around from left side to right side, people take really big steps. Or when they turn around, they don't turn their back leg with them and their back leg ends up facing here rather than turning with them. Okay, so one guy's practice is we're going to go into left and right, but every time you turn around, I want you to make sure that your back leg faces the direction you're going. Make sure your body does too. Okay, so we're just going to go one, Two, and then turn around. Three, four. We're going to practice that a few times. Try to maintain that one fist distance and try to make sure your back leg follows the angle we talked about, right? So from here, off the center, 30 degrees. Step forward, turn your back leg. When you turn around, you step, and then when your heel comes down, you turn both of your feet. Let's try that, okay? Okay, ready to start from the left side first. Ready? From here, legs apart, hands on your waist. Ready to step to the side. One, and make sure right there you have a good walking stance. Okay, you don't want to take a too big of a step out. So check your legs, okay, as we do this. Ready, third. Turn around, set. Next. Now. Third. Set. Next. Now. Third. Set, and next. Okay. We're going to take that same idea and apply it to forward stances. So first, let's recap once quickly how to do a proper forward stance, okay? So the first thing for forward stance we're going to do is, once again, separate your feet apart, one fist. So the width, right, how wide it is is still the same, okay? Now the difference is going to be how long it is, okay? So from here, you're gonna move your left leg forward. Move your heel to where your toe is once. That's one foot. Do it again. That's two feet. Do it again. That's three feet. Now shift it forward a little bit, and that's another half. Now, from here, you gotta do two things. Take your back leg, turn it slightly, and make that 30 degree angle. Now take your front leg and bend your knee. So when you have all that said and done, when you see it on the back leg, on the back angle, or the side angle, sorry, it's going to look like this. Okay, so your back leg should be turned mostly forward, right? I shouldn't see it facing the side, it's not a groin stretch. Your front leg, your knee should be bent until your knee is over your heel. Okay? Now, so when we go from forward stance to forward stance, we're going to do two things. Number one, just like before, our heel is going to... Pivot when we land. But now there's one more thing. Because your body goes a little lower when you do a forward stance, you don't want to bounce up and down. So if you do this, if your body comes up and down, not correct. Instead, what you want is to have your head maintaining the same height, which is going to look like this. From here, as you go forward, your feet are going to come together with your knees bent, and then as you go forward, you shoot it out. That way your head never goes up and down. You want your head to maintain the same height the whole time. Okay? So for example, I'm gonna show you what that looks like normally. So one, step, two, step, two. Turn around, same thing. You wanna maintain the same height, step, transition. Step, transition, all without going up and down. Okay, so let's start by stepping forward first. Hands on your waist. Okay, ready, legs apart, and Okay, let's start by stepping into the forward stance. Remember, three and a half feet forward, one fist sideways. Okay? And pivot your leg when you put it down. Ready? And enough. Ready? Now shift forward, try to keep the same height. Third. Set. Now. Okay, from here, let's try stepping backwards. So the rules are gonna be the opposite. So you're gonna move your foot, and then your front leg, you turn it at the last second, because that's the one that's off center, right? So from here, just try to step back and maintain your back straight and go, and up, turn, third, set, neck. Okay, good, just relax your legs from here. Okay, so the last one we're going to go to today is the back stance. For those of you who need to know, take three, this is going to be important for you. 
Okay, so even if you don't know take of three or you don't need to know it yet, you can still practice the stances with us. It's good practice for later on. Okay, so first things first, let's go to the back stance. Number one, from feet together position, you're gonna turn your leg to the side and make a 90 degree angle. Okay, from here, let's say this is gonna be my front leg. So I'm gonna move that one foot forward and one more foot forward. I'm gonna bend both of my knees. And this one, I'm gonna to need to check myself, right? Because I need a certain position with my hip and my foot, okay? So I'm gonna line up my foot, my knee, my hip, and my shoulder so that my back is straight, but my weight is on my back leg. So some things you don't wanna see, don't have your butt sticking out. Don't have your head sticking back, okay? Don't have your knees sticking out because that means your back leg is off angle, right? So when you have all those things correct, your back leg should have one straight line all the way from your hip shoulder, I mean from your shoulder all the way into your foot. Okay, so let's see that, what that looks like on the other side. Turn it, two feet, bend your knees, hips on your back leg, back straight. Okay, so for this one, let's practice going forward once again. Okay, so you're gonna step, and at the last second, turn your back leg, but keep your weight on your back leg. The best way you can think about it when you're stepping forward in the back stance is that you're sticking your leg out and you're turning your back leg. You're not actually moving your body forward. You're just sticking your leg up and then your body stays back. Okay, so let's try this out a couple of times, then we're gonna move on to Pumse. Okay, ready? From here. Okay, left leg step out and turn. Ready? Step and turn. Step and turn. Step and turn. One more time, step and turn. Okay, let's try the same thing in reverse. So for reverse, you're gonna need to Step back, and then your feet are both gonna turn like that. Okay, so let's try that from here. Ready? Step and turn your feet. 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 Okay, let's take a break from this. Shake out your legs. You're gonna get a quick water break and you can continue with boom sit. Turn it. And then, very good job, guys. Okay, let's come back and let's start going through Pumse. So today we're going to go through beginners, one, two, and three. And okay, so first Kathy is going to go through beginners Pumse with you guys. You guys can follow along. I'm going to take a little bit more time to explain some stuff today. Okay, so first, to me, let's have, sorry, yeah, hit, hit. Okay, so we're first going to have Kathy facing this with this. Okay. So as you follow along today, I'm going to show you guys what I call the order of events. So what I mean by that is this, right? When you do your pumse, right, you have to start with something first, right? Now, what is the thing you start with first? Number one is you have to set your block. So before Kathy does anything, the first movement she's going to do is going to bring her hand to her shoulder and look to the side. When she's ready. So after doing this, she's going to touch her hand to her shoulder and look to the side. And now the next thing she's going to do is she's going to stick her left leg out to the side and have her heel pointed up because the moment her heel touches the ground, she has to finish her stance. So at the same time as her leg touches the ground, she's got to do two things. She's got to block, she's got to turn that second leg. Boom, right? So that's one movement, right? So it's easy enough to go to the pum and go da, 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 right? This is not a problem. But now if you want to do it with good technique, this is where you start putting in a bit more detail. You touch your shoulder, you look, you step and you finish your block at the same time as your body finishes turning. Okay, so she's gonna step forward and she's gonna place her foot forward at the same time as her hand punches. Good. Okay, so same thing for the other side. She's gonna touch her shoulder first. She's gonna turn around and set. So once again, she's timing her blocks to finish with her foot landing on the ground. Next. Okay, now same thing for the other side. She's gonna set her hand, she's gonna turn around, and hana. Third. Set. Net. Pass up. Okay, so right here, we're gonna talk about something else. Right, we have to time our punch with the landing of our foot after our kick. But before we do that, we have to do something. We don't leave our hand here when we kick, do we? We bring our hands to fighting stance. So from fighting stance position, she's going to kick and keep her leg in the air. She's going to touch her belt, the set for the punch. And as her leg touches the ground, she's going to punch. Okay, so we have to time our block, sorry, time our punch with the landing of her leg. 
but we have to prepare for it too. We don't just stick our hand out and call it a punch, right? So you kick, touch your bell, and time your line. Let's see how you do this. Ready? Hana. Very good. Same thing on the other side. Hana. Third. Ha. Okay, let's see Kathy do that again. Okay, everyone makes mistakes. It's fine. Ready? Hit block and then kick punch. Ha. Okay, very good. Faro, give her a hand. Make sure you, when you're at home, make sure you still clap, okay? I always say that every time. Okay, so. Kathy, can relax for a sec. Yeah, when you guys are doing your boom say, right? Try to get that timing down, okay? So at the last move, you have to key up at the same time as you finish. You don't go, ha, and then you finish. You don't go, oh yeah, ha. It's a little too late for that, right? So you have to time it at the same time. Okay, so boom say also teaches you timing. I want to see you guys try to do that when you guys do it in Zoom class with us, okay? So let's do beginners from on your own time, and then we're gonna move on to from number one. Ready? He said you made. Okay, on your own time, I'm saying uh, beginners. Sijak. Hold up. So, okay, so this is the next thing I'm gonna talk about quickly. Your feet. Okay, so when we talked about pivoting earlier, I mentioned to you that you're supposed to pivot when your leg touches the ground. So this is what happens sometimes when you're too focused on pivoting, right? Some people do this, they'll pivot first. What I mean by that is this. Let's say I'm facing this side. Some people, before they step, they turn your leg and then they step. So it might look like this, right? Some people do that. So you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to step first and then pivot at the last second. You don't go turn then step. Some people do it when they kick too. They'll go like this, okay? Or they'll step out before they kick, okay? So these are things that you don't wanna do. This is called telegram. If you're showing your opponent what you're gonna do before you do it, it's giving them an advanced warning, right? Also, it's messing up your distance and your balance. So try not to do that, okay? Try to keep your front leg still before you step or before you kick. Try not to step before you kick, okay? Let's go to Pum Se number one. This one, we're going to have, actually, we'll have to do this one as well, okay? I don't want to show you guys the forward stance transition problem. Ready, check. Sit. In there. Boom say your feet. Okay, so the first row moves are gonna be just like boom say number one. Let's go through them. Ready? And now uh, set your hand, turn here. Third. Set. Now. Okay, from here, Kathy's gonna transition to a forward stance. So first thing, center hand. Number two, when she steps forward, that back leg is gonna turn at the last second. Right? Let's see. Hello. Okay, so she just timed her block with her landing. See, so don't time the punch with the landing, you time the Low blow, but then the punch follows right after. Okay, now from here, when she steps to the side, yes, she's going to go to a walking stance, but also she still has to pivot her leg. So her new back leg, so her left leg is going to turn when she touches the ground with her right leg. Let's see her do that. Now, okay, so this is intentional. You want that leg to turn. You don't want to leave it facing this way, otherwise you have an L with your feet. Okay. So if you do that around, right? For example, it's gonna look like this. When your back leg is sideways, and your body is open. This is a common mistake people have. Turn your back leg with you. Okay, ready? Now, okay, just like before, when you turn around, turn your back leg with you. Good. Good. Set. Okay, once again, when Kathy transitions forward, that back leg has to go and face forward with her. Now. Very good. Okay, so one other thing we want to try not to do is we don't want to lift up our heel too much as possible. When you pivot on the ground, don't let your heel leave the ground before it comes back down. Just turn. Turn remember, don't go up and down. Okay, because it shows the lack of flexibility in your calves. Ready? Now. Okay, from here, let's see that kick and that punch. Ready? With good timing. Now. Third. Set. Next. 
다섯 오케이 바로 so okay so this time I'm going to show you guys on my count all right because this time I want to show you guys right I'm going to do my best to show you the pivot properly right so like I said no one's perfect right everyone has some errors here and there right I want you guys to be aware of the pivoting and when you should do it so do your best not to pivot as you turn or before you turn okay try and follow along yes ma'am Okay, so this time I was trying to pay really close attention to the pivoting and trying to turn at the last second. Hopefully you guys can see me intentionally doing that. We're going to go through question number two this time. Okay, now that we talked about the basic techniques, we're going to go through it in a little less detail, but focus on the specifics for the question. So, good day. Question you mean? Let's go to question number two. By my count. Hello. From here, step the forward stance. Do it. Make sure your punch goes below your shoulder. Set. Net. Toss up. Yes, sir. Here go. You're done. Okay, so for this one, once again, I'm going to remind you the punch is going to your mouth level. Okay, upper lip. Aim for this part right here. It's got a name, too, of you guys. I want you to remember this later. It's called the philtrum. Here you turn around for that. Third, set, net, pass up, yes up, here go, good third, I hope, good, ha, bottom, so, Okay, so I'm going to show you guys Pum Se 2 on my own time, but first I'm going to talk about something very quickly. When you guys do that three-quarter turn, when you turn around backwards, right? I want you guys to try not to do this. Don't take many steps. You only need to take one. Now, Kathy didn't take a lot of steps. She just took one. But I want you guys to do it very specifically like this, okay? So from here, I want you to put your leg behind you and step first. Then now you're going to turn both of your feet like this around to finish your block okay so depending on where you put your foot you might need to adjust your leg so if you put your leg in the right position you don't have to adjust it take a look from here when i step one two so i have to bring my leg my back leg beside my front leg before i turn around so that my legs don't end up like this okay so when i want to turn here this way for example i don't want to put it here this is too far back i have to go more in front before I turn around so that my feet don't end up like this, okay? So that's a tip for you guys when you guys are spinning around and take a two, right? To make sure that your legs don't end up like this position, you have to bring your leg more further to the front so that you can turn around better, okay? So let's see that in Hoops and Abuki. Okay, we're going to go to Pumse number three now, okay? But before we do, I'm going to talk about something very quickly. Okay, so the next thing that we need to talk about is, okay, so earlier we covered this a little bit, but your hand position when you kick, right? When you're kicking your hands, you have to be in funny stance position, 
But when you punch, your hands have to be on your belt. So when you're just doing it without doing it in the pump state, it's simple enough you can think about it, right? Hands up when you kick, touch your belt before you punch. But when you're actually doing it, sometimes coordination gets in the way. So I want you guys to practice just moving your hands. Okay, follow along with me. Have your hands up by your chin level. Put one hand down, punch and pull the other hand back. Then go back. So go one, two, three. Let's try it. One, two, three. Other side, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so this is the basic movement you're gonna do with your hands every time you're doing a kick and a punch follows. For example, when you do take of three, you're gonna see Kathy doing this. One, two, set your hand, three. Okay, so for every kick and every punch position, you have to do those two actions. Setting your hands, setting your hand for the punch. Okay, setting your hand for the kick, setting your hand for the punch. Let's see that and take a three by my count. Set it! Set And then, come to me. Let's go through, say number three by my count. Hana. Okay, from here, let's see, hands up and kick. Third. And two, double punch. Okay, ready, other side, same thing. Set. Net. Very good. To the front, knife hand strike. Hana. Make sure it's going to your neck level. From here, there. And make sure from here you close your hand before you switch your hands. From one, switch to two. Okay? Now, this one, make sure it starts from your belt. Lift it up before you blow. Now, once again, you got that pivoting of your back leg, right? At the same time as your back leg, or as your front leg touches the ground, your back leg turns with you, right? So that your hip goes forward. Ready? Other side, set. Okay, once again, you've got a back stand. So you should see Kathy's front leg moving forward, her back leg turning, and your heel going to the side. Okay, ready? Hana! Very good. Ready? To the front, little block. Hana! Third. All right, so that same three-quarter turn we talked about. So remember, take that back leg, put it beside your front leg before you turn around so that you don't have to waddle around when you turn around. Okay? Hana! Good. Now, kick double punch. Third. Other side, same thing. Set. Net. Hustle. Very good. Yes, sir. Okay, so from here, you have the same set position for your kick, but now a different landing position, right? A low block. So from here, from the side, you are you. It's hands up, kick, set your hand. One, two. Okay, so prepare a low block position before your leg starts to come down. Okay, let's see how that goes. Good, same thing on the other side. Dude! Ha! Auto! Shot! Okay, very good. So we're going to go through take up three on my own time. Try to follow along. All right, if you need to try to take note of how I did the pumse, I want you guys to watch for a few things. Number one, watch for the pivot we've been talking about this whole time. But number two, watch for how I set my hands in between punches. So what I'm doing is I'm not setting my hands quickly. I'm just landing slower. I can do this, right, from position one. I can go one, two, kick, and leave my leg there before doing this. I don't want to be doing this. You don't want to rush your punches and your blocks because you're landing faster. You want to land slower so that you can do your technique properly. Okay, so try and do that. That's this. This one. Jumbi. Come to number three on your own count. See ya. Very good, guys. Let's get a quick water break and come back. Okay, we'll tell you what we're doing after. So, cool down stretches are things that you do when you're done 
all of your exercise so that you don't have really tight muscles in this thing. When you kids are young, you don't feel it as much, but when you get to be a little bit older, your muscles get a little tighter, so you have to stretch them more. Let's sit down, right? It's good for you guys to practice this habit anyway, stretching after you're done exercise. So first we're gonna start with straddle stretch. Straddle stretch is basically sitting splits, but you wanna push your hips forward and straighten your back first. Okay, so from here, you lift up your hands, bring them forward, you stretch out your hamstring and move your hands forward, but look up so that your stomach goes down. Okay, so push your stomach down at the same time as you go forward. Otherwise, you do this and then you're stretching your back instead of stretching your hamstrings. Okay, so push your stomach down and roll your hips forward as you stretch. And now, uh, good. Set. Net. Hustle. Just up. You go. You go. I'll hold. You hold. Kathy. No. You're good on your right side. Just grab you with your toes and have your body facing your leg for the first one. Okay, ready? Three, set, net, pass up, this up, you go, you go, I'll help you switch sides. Na, four, set, net, that's up. Yes, Next one we're going to do is going to go sideways. So to go sideways, you want to have your shoulders in line with your leg. I want you to put your hand on the inside of your leg like this and turn your hand outwards. Have your other hand reaching over like you're doing a side stretch, which you are basically, but in a seated position. Okay, so make sure that shoulder is on top of the other one. So don't have your body facing down like before. Have it sideways. Na, do, set, na, that's up. Yes, sir. You go. You do. I'll hold. You change sides. You grab the inside of your leg. Turn your body sideways. And you stretch over with your hand. Come on. Do. Head. Neck. That's up. Yes, sir. You go. You do. I'll hold. Yeah. Let's go a little wider with your legs. So try to widen your legs by pushing your hips forward and straightening your back. Ready, leaning forward. And now. Do. Set. Neck. That's up. Yes, sir. You go. You're done. I hope. You okay? Come on. Good. Head. Man. That's what. Yes, sir. You go. You're there. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. From here, move your legs in. Shake out your legs. Okay. I'm going to end off here today with Master Sadati's Mat Chat. I'm going to face him forward. Tell you. In there. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Anybody's tired out there? And here's our mat chat. Our mat chat is about the student oath. Yesterday we covered, I think, the first three lines. I shall respect my parents, brothers, sisters, and elders. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall respect master and instructors and all senior ranks and my classmates. And the uh, fourth line is, I, I shall finish what I started. Okay. Now, let's talk about that. Master Kenneth. Yes, sir. What do you think about starting, finishing what, what, they, what, what they start? Are they supposed to finish when go to the fridge and grab the ice cream bucket and start and then say, oh, I was told to finish what I started and finish all the ice cream or gelato. I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> that's, that's, no, that's not what I mean. Eh? No, no, it doesn't mean that. Uh, because it, when I do that, sometimes I remember this oath. I'm like, I shall finish what I started. Then I'm like, no, when I look at my weight, I'm like, no, I, I'm going to, Gain weight. I don't want to do that. Master Sadati, put the ice cream back. In those situations, we have to exercise the tenet of self control, sir. Self control, yes. So, what do we have to finish then when we start? Do you have any idea? So, when it comes to things that we put effort into, I think that's what we're talking about. So, things that we're trying to you know, improve on, things that we're trying to get better at, or a goal that we set. Excellent. Right? So, if you only go halfway towards your goal, number one, right? You've kind of wasted your effort. But number two, you also don't have as much improvement, right? Because when it comes to, you know, reaching for a goal, the whole point of 
reaching for a goal was to get there at some point. If you never get there, right, you don't progress as much, right? You don't become better as as, as better as you could have been. Yeah. Right. So you're yeah. So you're you're losing out basically. That's the main thing. Yeah. So how about they start something and halfway they find it out they don't like it. What do they do? Well, in those cases, sometimes it, it really depends, right? I don't example, like it. I don't want to do it. Right. Some things that you find that you don't like, it may be because, you know, there's a part of there's only a part of it that you don't like and then you associate it with the whole thing. So let's say, for example, for me, right, in Taekwondo, I really hate doing burpees. Oh, so does that mean I hate Taekwondo? Some people, they think that way. Mm. But what they don't realize is they only don't like that one part. Right. Mm. So if you're going to finish what you start, right, you have to accept the hard parts, right, along with the parts that you like. You don't just do the parts of Taekwondo you like, you have to do all of it, right? So it's like, I don't just do Pumse, I also do kicking, I do sparring. I don't just do sparring, I do Pumse. You know, so whatever it is you like about Taekwondo, that's good, right? You always want to enjoy Taekwondo. But there's going to be parts of it that you don't like, but they're good for you anyway. You know, you sometimes, to to yeah. Yourself. Sometimes they don't know the reason behind it. So, A lot of things that are sometimes happening and we don't know the reason why. And then we think, oh, I don't like it. And then, but when you find out why you do something, why, why you do burpees, why you split, why you do pomse, then you start liking it, right? So I think it's mostly, this is about everything that is positive. Like finish the, uh, what you start, the positive thing you start, not like destroying the place. Like I, I hit the wall here, I break this wall. I'm like, I might as well break the other wall. I do back kick this side, side kick there, jumping, side kick here, Katy's head. You know, so I have to finish what I said. It's those are no, 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 right? It's sure. negative, positive stuff. Like starting your school, you have to finish your school. You start your lesson, you have to finish your lesson. You start taekwondo, um, you know, white belt. You have to uh, once you like it, you get yellow belt, orange belt. Then uh, a lot of people they quit, they don't finish it because it becomes harder, right? Yes, sir. When Taekwondo becomes harder, now you have to learn more from say, now you have to do more push-ups, now you have to do more of everything, then you don't finish it. You're like, okay, I don't want black belt, I just I'm happy with orange belt, green belt. You know, this is a um, about everything in life. It starts with easy and then becomes harder and harder, and you have to work harder, right? So if you quit halfway, you don't finish what you start, what are you what are you? You're a quitter, right? Are you guys any quitter here in this house? Are you guys gonna finish what you start? Type in yes or no, please. Let me know. I'm massaging my legs. I'm gonna train again today. I've been training on Mondays and Wednesday nights. My leg is a little sore. So type in yes or no. Are you quitter? Do you finish what you start? <clears throat> oh, you're a quitter? What? Or you finish what you start? <laughs> okay, let's answer this question. Are you a quitter? No, sir. <laughs> okay, we don't quit. So, great. Um, the last line is, I shall do my best to become the best. What do you think about that, Master uh, Lim? I think that it's a bit similar to the previous line, right? I would, right, finish where I start. But in this time, in this context, we're talking about aiming to be the best version of yourself you can. So, like when you when you do something, right? We don't want to just be satisfied with you know just doing okay. We want to put forth our best effort so that we can improve as much as we possibly can. So when it says when we're talking about being the best. We're not necessarily saying, oh, you have to be better than everybody else. I'm the strongest in the world. No one can beat me. Because, you know, that's a little arrogant. Not everyone, you know, right? You can't guarantee that you're going to be the strongest person in the world, right? Like, there, there's a saying, right? Uh, right. This is a Chinese saying, actually. We're saying, like, that, right, for every mountain, there's always another higher one, right? So in that sense, right, no matter how good you get, there's always going to be someone better. That's just life. Yeah. Okay? You're talking about self-improvement. So when it comes to self-improvement, we're talking about how good you can become, not how good you are compared then to Then there is else. no limit for that. 
Yes, sir. You can be so good, like, like bigger than a mountain. Yes, sir. Very good. That's right. So you shall do your best to become the best. That is uh, pretty much what Master Lim says, Master Kenneth. Um, it's not about being competing here to be the best in the class here. Like you just keep watching everyone else, see how everyone else is doing and keep comparing yourself with them. See, oh, uh, he's better than me. And then you feel bad or you're better than her. You feel like, oh, I'm better than her. I'm better than this guy. I'm better than that guy. Then you feel like, oh, you become arrogant. You become like, hmm, you're better than everyone else. And that's bad. That's a bad attitude, right? We don't want to uh, always compare. I'm not comparing you with any other student. I just compare you with you. I'm comparing myself with my yesterday. How was Master Sadati yesterday training? How many burpees did he do? Did set up three of 10, 30. Okay, uh, that's what I'm comparing. Today I have to do, I have to beat that number and maybe even do more. Push myself to a little bit more. How many pumps did I do yesterday? Today I do more. How many kicks did I do yesterday? Compare myself to my yesterday. Do my best to improve, to get better inside and outside, physically and mentally, right? And then there is no limit for that. That's the good thing about it, right? Once, uh, but when you compare yourself with other people, sometimes you're better than everybody in class, right? And then you go to tournament, you See, oh my God, there's so many people better than me here. And then you're going to lose your confidence. Like, like that's not the attitude we want. You want to improve, compare yourself with yourself, with your past, with your previous day. And of course, if you're competing, first you have to win in your town. You have to become the best in Vancouver. And then, you know, you go to BC provincial training uh, or competition there you know you might not be the best that shouldn't let you down that shouldn't make you feel bad make you feel sad and depressed because of course there are people that have done more than you so you just do your best to become the best of yourself your best version of yourself thank you so much for listening you guys are wonderful because today is the 32nd day of yes, YouTube sir. Live, and we've done five Zoom, 30, 32 plus five. Instructor Kathy? Yes. How many? 32. Plus five? 37, sir. 37. 37 days of Taekwondo training online. That's amazing. Keep up the hard work and um, take advantage of this opportunity because online we... Um, we are limited to mostly body weight training. We are limited to the space. Like we have space here, but you don't. You're limited to your room. A little bit of space you have, right? You don't have equipment. So that's why I'm saying you're amazing. You're great. You're doing best with the least. The least you have, you're working. You're trying your best. And there is no board breaking for you. There is no all those fun stuff we had in class. None of those is happening right now. But you guys are still doing Taekwondo. Isn't that great? Aren't so these guys amazing? Yes, sir. Yes, because I know a lot of people here, they come, they like to break board. Board breaking, what do we do board breaking? They want to kick target. They want to jump around, do stuff, run around. But you guys don't have that chance at this time. But soon you will have that chance. All right? Keep up the hard work because um, at this time we... We are limited to certain things uh, like pomse, kicking air, and um, conditioning, right? Master Kenneth, myself, other instructors, they all, we all explain. We, we are more technical. We are more detailed. We, we go through details. So we don't go through details this much when you're in class because we don't have time. You're here. There's so much things to do, and we're busy. We still teach you stuff but not to this detail. You're learning a lot of details right now, and that helps you in the long run. So keep up the hard work. If you have any question, 
uh, you can always ask us or you want to practice, go watch those videos. All right. Thank you. Chariot. Thank you.